Hey, what's up everyone? My name is VL Motion, and I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Today, I will be explaining how to make this sort of interactive or responsive alert. You can use this as a .mogert file for Premiere Pro, and you can basically speed up your workflow because you can just use this as a template inside of Premiere Pro and edit the text instead of having to render it each time over and over again in After Effects. So this will save everyone a lot of time. So let's just get right into the video. I'm gonna start by making a new composition. Uh, doesn't really matter what settings you use i use uh, the following settings 920 uh, by 1080 uh, 30 fps because these are uh, normally the settings for my uh, regular youtube video so that's the settings i'm also going to use in my uh, template and i press ok uh, once we're inside our new composition we're going to select the rectangle tool and we're just going to draw a rectangle here uh, it doesn't really matter what size uh, i'm going to turn off the stroke and i'm going to turn on the fill and let's just pick a nice uh, blue for now um, that should do the job press ok i'm gonna go to align and set this in the middle um then i'm gonna select the text tool and i'm just gonna type in um interactive for now um and i'm also gonna set this to like a light blue so it matches the box and i'm also gonna put this in the middle next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna press u twice and this will pop up all the properties that we can edit here it says size this is the rectangle size this is not the transform size the transform size will stay at a hundred and uh, this is the rectangle size and i'm gonna set this to 250 and i'm always gonna keep it at 250 and right now we're gonna use expressions so the box always adjusts to the size of the text i'm gonna look my text has the size 180 um the height is 250 so 250 minus 180 is 70 so we're gonna have a 70 pixel space on both sides of the text so we're gonna alt click the size and we're gonna type in the following expression we're gonna open that bracket and we're gonna type this comp for, to select this composition then we're gonna type layer and open the brackets type some quotes and then text to open our text or to select our text layer and uh, we're gonna type in source rect at time and we're gonna uh, place two brackets make sure you put capital r capital a and capital t and then we're gonna type dot width plus 840 because we want 70 pixel spacing on both sides and uh, we're gonna type a comma and we're gonna type 250 and this is basically an expression for the width and the height and the height is always gonna be set to 250 so that's set and if we now go to the text and type some other stuff like a test it will automatically adjust now we're gonna focus on the animation i already have an animation that i use in my videos uh, but i'm just gonna explain the same animation just for the sake of the tutorial so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, select the shape layer and press s and we're gonna uh, place a keyframe here and go to one second and place another keyframe and then i'm going to go to the first one and uh, click on this button so it removes the uh, proportions constraint and we're going to set the first one to zero and we're going to go to the text and we're going to select p and t to bring up these properties the position and opacity property we're going to place two keyframes here and go to one second and place on more keyframes we're going to drag this down like plus 400 pixels now that's a little too much minus 200 that should do the job and then we're going to set the opacity to zero we're also going to add the effect set matte so let's just type that in and drag it on the text and we're going to set the take matte from layer of the shape layer so if we now preview this we have the animation but it's very boring it's very slow as well so we're going to select these keyframes and just press f9 at, and then we're going to click on here to bring up the graph editor and we're going to drag these in so right now we have a cool animation and then we're gonna go to like uh, three or four seconds gonna select these keyframes and paste them and these as well and then we're gonna select all keyframes and we're gonna right click keyframe assistant and time reverse keyframes so this basically reverses the animation after four seconds so we have a five second title and this still will all work with the text so if we change this to interactive it will just change automatically uh, now for the premiere pro part we're gonna go to window and we're gonna open the essential graphics part we're gonna close the text and open this we're gonna go to text and drag in the source text right here i'm gonna change this to text so it's clear in uh, premiere pro and if we now type in here like uh, test or something it should automatically change and if we click on edit properties we can enable custom font selection enable font size and faux styles and right now we have a lot more options see but i'm not gonna uh, add the size because that will mess up the uh, box so i'm gonna turn this one off again i'm going to project and rename my composition to like um, test and i'm gonna change the name of my template to uh, pop up also i'm gonna add color options so i'm gonna select the box layer again and press u twice and i'm gonna drag in this color one of the fill 
and I'm gonna change this to a uh, box color. And if we now change this color, it should automatically update as well. And I'm gonna do the same for the text, but we're gonna do it a bit differently because there is no direct uh, color option for the text. So I'm gonna apply the effect called fill and just drag it on there. And right now it's red, so I want to um, select this color. I'm gonna turn off the effect, pick the color, and then turn it on again. And if you press uh, U twice again, uh, we can now see the color and drag this on there as well. I'm gonna name this text color. And then all we have to do is export motion graphics template. And you can basically select a, um, and you can basically select the destination where you wanna save this. It might give this pop-up once you try to save. Um, that means that the font is not in the Adobe font library. Um, but don't worry about that. You can always change it in Premiere Pro. And if you have the font on uh, installed on your computer, it shouldn't be a problem. So I'm gonna press OK. And that's it. That's the part for After Effects in this video. So I'm gonna head over to Premiere Pro and explain the rest. So I jumped into Premiere Pro. I made a quick new project. And basically you wanna go to Editing. And um, it should already say Essential Graphics. If not, go to Window and just open the Essential Graphics panel. Then once you're done with that, you wanna head over to Graphics and then click on Install motion graphics template i'm gonna select mine and just double click to open it then in the essential graphics panel we can type in a uh, pop-up because that's what i named my pop-up first gonna create a new uh, black video real quick so we can actually uh, do something and uh, this will automatically create a new sequence if we would just drag that into the timeline i'm gonna add my pop-up on there and if we now scroll over this we can go to edit select the pop-up and type in whatever text we want so if i change it to interactive again there we go. If we now play this, the animation will just work perfectly fine. And the great thing about this is if we make a copy of this, it will not make a direct linked copy of this. So we can just change the text to responsive again. And as you can see, we have two different ones. One says responsive, the other one says interactive. So that's basically how you make these pop-ups without using After Effects and rendering and all the hassle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and all of that stuff. Come on, what kind of video you want to see next time. And I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.